All right, we'll leave the scoreboard for now and hop over to our second interview, this time with Adam Sandstedt. Adam, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So you wrote problem C, which uh, has been solved um, already. It was rolling the dice. Mm -hmm. Can you summarize the the problem itself and, and what the solution is? Uh, yeah, um, so essentially you're given like a series of dice rolls and then like basically a constant that you add to it and then you sum up all the rolls and then you have to give what the average value of those rolls and the addition would be. Um, Is that dice roll given in a format that's particularly like easy for (laughs) experienced CADIS users to parse? (laughs) Yeah, not really. Um, So it's it's kind of given in um, it's a common format in Dungeons and Dragons um, and uh, a lot of other just like tabletop games. Um, And so you give it in the format of like a number d like a number, and so it'd be like two d six is two rolls of a six-sided die. Um, and then you sum those up. Um, and so, yeah, it contains a little bit of parsing because you have to split it by a, like a D and then a plus, and yeah. And you, you mentioned that it's used in Dungeons & Dragons. Was that your inspiration for this problem? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I tend to do a lot of uh, calculations and stuff and so I, I like just doing a lot of statistics with characters and games and stuff yeah so we have a couple of solutions to this problem ready to go if you would like to commentate for us oh uh, sure <laughs> so so the first solution we have is from pin a team uh, which is was the first team to solve this problem uh, they solved uh, this problem in the fifth minute of the competition. And uh, looking at this solution, I have no idea what they're doing here. Uh, do you, does your experience with this problem give you some insight, perhaps? Well, it looks like th- these first uh, two lines are splitting the input. So S um, mm-hmm. is being split on the plus, which will give you something along the lines of a list containing um, oh, X, that's actually... D, D, mm-hmm. Y, and then Z. Um, but then this split, I'm not really sure what's going on here. I think it's splitting them again. Mm-hmm. So it's splitting an arbitrary number of additions, and then it's splitting by like a D. And so that's basically, if it's a dice roll, like like 2d6 or something like that, then it's going to split it into 2 and 6. I think this so is you're either going to get... I see. And yeah. then this converts it all and to so integers. And so they actually did it... Yeah, and they, they actually did it for an arbitrary length of additions and dice, which is actually what I was in originally thinking about doing for the problem. Um, in the end, it just ended up being one die roll and then an addition to make it a little bit easier, but... So maybe the way they solved this problem so quickly is they didn't read the description particularly carefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Potentially. And what's interesting here is that they're they're doing a loop. Uh I'm not exactly sure what to make of this. Oh, this is just the a- this is the, the yeah, calculating the average, the and then these are cal- this is calculating the uh, the offset, um, the yeah, z so value. For, wow! For handling an arbitrary number of dice rolls, this is pretty impressively concise. Yeah, we have a couple other solutions to look at. So Dogwater came out of the gate. Uh, they solved at minute zero with. Uh, problem A, um, but then they stuttered a bit when they got to problem C. Um, they took th- it took them three attempts to get this one correct. So we'll just look at the first attempt. Um, you see what they did wrong here? I don't yet. Oh. I think it's this. This is definitely it, wrong. 
they assumed that each that each digit was only a single. Mm. Also, they're using file input. input. I'm not sure what happened there. Because that's definitely wrong. You can't read from a file. You have to read from standard in. Oh, maybe that just works. I'm not really sure how that how file input this works. This was the this was we could look at one of their other solutions and see if they made that work in previous problems. So the next solution, this is solution two, also wrong, but they did get the splitting logic correct, um, or at least slightly more correct. They may be assuming the size of the integers though. Yeah, the difference here is that they're using the actual index. Um, mm -hmm which is necessary. Otherwise, because uh, uh, the off the Z values could be up to what 100, as can the X and Y values, which which means that uh, you have to handle variable sized integers. Mm -hmm. Which I think one of the sample like or like one of the sample inputs actually has numbers up to, i think it's at least 10 maybe 100 so i'm kind of surprised they didn't catch that well they they may have submitted without testing properly on yeah. the samples yeah that's i guess definitely... when you're trying to go that fast let's start. <laughs> yeah oh my gosh m has been solved by river hill high school team let's uh let me just hop over to the scoreboard wow. real quick. Um, yeah, we have the scoreboard open on another screen. M here, is a like dynamic programming problem that I made. I am very fond of it, and I'm really, really impressed that that is solved. This competition may be uh, over <laughs> fairly quickly uh, if if they manage to solve some of the middle tier problems. Um, but that is that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, wow. Somebody probably, you know, either. Uh, just managed to intuit their way to it or or had a, some intuition about it um, or, or, or read about it in some in some way well, let's get back to the interview um, just a couple more questions so uh, is there have you looked at any of the problems solutions approaches and, and been surprised by any of them um, not really it's a pretty straightforward problem um, how many yeah, how I, many teams total do you expect to solve? I think there are let's see, so thirty two teams have solved. Um, um, I I imagine most of them will eventually get it. Um, so it's not too hard. It's like the math is a little bit tricky if you're not familiar with it, but I don't know. I like, I'd guess probably 80, 90%. What was your inspiration? You talked a little bit about it's the Dungeons and Dragon dice rolling uh, mm -hmm. notation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you know you wanted to do something along those lines when you set out to make a problem? Or did this um, like come as a result of some thought? Uh, it was, I think it was one of the first ones that I thought of. Because I was just trying to think of, like I was literally looking around my room trying to think of real life things that I could make problems out of. And like I saw my dice laying there and I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Great. Is there anything else that you'd like to say before uh, we uh, let you go? No. All right. Well, thank you for hopping in. Uh, this went a little bit smoother than the last interview, so hopefully we continue that trend and yeah. uh, make these even even better. Uh, we'll hop back over. Thanks so much for having the problem. Yeah. Yeah. See you around. See you.